All right, hey everyone, welcome to another late night here, east coast of Canada. Um, wow. Eh? Eh? I know. I know there's a couple of you out there who are just a little bit excited to see Dwarf Fortress again. Um, truth be told, it's one of those things, um, still love the game. I still want to see where this goes. Uh, still have fond memories of many of our times here in, uh, something iron, I believe. Sword stroked. Right, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, iron one was the other one. Sword stroked. Uh, quite funny. Um, building our emerald palace, if you will. Uh, we currently have the emerald column descending deep into the depths. And... I feel great after firing it back up, like, the second of seeing that load back up here and that little music kick in, I am excited, again, to be back here. I don't know why I, was, uh, I took so long to get back into it, I guess, you know, um, I had a chance to actually play games as Zelda. I haven't done that in um, a very long time, so we just started playing games. Um, and yeah, anyway, we're back, uh, had some fun with Kerbal. I'll continue doing that. I am enjoying it. And Jagged Alliance had a bit of an issue because one of my hard drives, uh, basically, I had three hard drives. I have my uh, primary hard drive. It's a sort of medium size, I guess. It's got all my Windows files and all that kind of stuff. I have my secondary hard drive, which is the storage hard drive. And I had a tertiary one, which was a low um, space hard drive. I used it for DOS and uh, like older programs, like say, um, hey, I own the PC versions of like Final Fantasy VII and stuff like that, um, you know, or the Might and Magics, anything that ran before 2000, generally I ran on the third one, um, that doesn't take a lot of room to install on there, and uh, compatibility was a lot easier. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> the summer heat kicked in, and that one kaputzed, because it was, it was very old to be fair, it was from my original uh, computer. So, what can you do? Anyway, let us recap and regale. Uh, if you're new to the Dwarf Fortress, if you haven't been around since uh, the beginning, let us discuss a few of the amazing things that have occurred. Uh, Sword Stroke began with two alligators. Well, there were several, but only two attacked us. <laughs> uh, right about here, actually. And for the first, like, Almost a month, just uh, all our dwarves were locked in combat. I, I, it actually might have been several months. Uh, yeah, because it was all spring and partway in the summer, I think. So, yeah, it was about th four months, let's say, of just amazing combat. Um, <laughs> then migrants came and uh, had to drag the unconscious dwarves off the, the alligators and then get back on it. Um, it was good times, it was crazy times, um, origami, man, that's crazy, it's you, isn't it, yeah, origami was our terrible, um, coward of a, uh, militia commander at the time, but things have picked up, we have the origami death squad, we have these giant workshops now, uh, set up underground, um, this was our original bastion against the uh, the alligators and such, but we're slowly moving away from there. Um, that's why you see all these people running everywhere. We're trying to pull everything from here over here. Working on that. War Games has been our mayor since the beginning. Uh, he has no intention of getting rid of that, and uh, he's in love with silver. <laughs> that's right, Origami. We're here, man. Uh, yeah, no, it feels pretty good. So we have silver everywhere, and War Games is um, asking for a silver-plated like room and everything. And his room is this one over here. It's completely awesome. Um, I'm sure he's not quite happy with it just yet, but that's all right. What can you do? Do a barrel roll. We got lots of barrels. Don't you worry about that, Josh. Speaking of, I don't remember seeing you in chat before. So at us. I'm sure we have some peasants doing something. Um, yeah, mechanic, that sounds kind of cool. Let's go ahead and I believe it's Z, Y, N, Josh Wabi. Welcome to the fortress. Um, we've only a few dead, so. <laughs> 
most of our death is from uh, mining accidents. <laughs> Uh, we're notorious for killing off miners. Well, actually, that's not true. Um, two of our original miners, Beagle and Kuro here. Well, Kuro has retired from being a miner with his broken arm. It's complete. Uh, it's better now? We managed to fix that? Oh my goodness, we are... <sighs> I believe we started in 201. 20 202. We started in 202. I think. Ooh, now that I say that, I'm not sure. How do I find out how long the expedition has been going on? That is a question. Uh, let's see. Fortress info should be... No, I didn't forget the monkey attack. I also didn't forget um, Shagel going insane and trying to uh, create some sort of bogus item and requiring the very specific spider silk cloth and all that shenanigans. I also didn't forget, what is all this stuff? Crutches and stuff, eh? Yeah, well. Yeah, I didn't forget the um, the butcher shop in the back of the morgue, which is uh, Grizzillion's little home. How do I find out actually how long into it we are? I thought it was just Zed. Uh, that doesn't seem to say here. Let's look. Reports? Hmm. So, um, no. Civilization World Info? No, we're not on there. Um. Buildings doesn't. Oh! Top right. No, it says the current date. Doesn't say when we started. Um. I have Dwarf Therapist. Not sure if that will, uh. Help if we group by migration wave. Um, yeah, spring of the year 203. So we are uh, two years and a couple months into it. So not that far in, actually, all things considered. And we are just building everything out of green glass. That's pretty cool. And we have wood everywhere. Too much wood, one might say. But uh, what can you do? And do we finally have our archers training? Because for the longest time we had our archers just being uh, dumb and wrestling. Which has made them stronger. Uh, doesn't look like it, no. What are you guys doing right now? Individual combat drill. New. So we have this assigned for training. Shoot from top to bottom. Yeah. Alright, well, they're set up for training. I guess they just don't want to. Oh yeah, and we have our trap room. <laughs> Everyone is just working on that. And we're trying to fill up a well. And how is that coming? Actually quite well. Der. Um, but yeah, it's not too bad. We just need to fill up one more level. And then we can go ahead and pull the lever and stop the floodgate. And 12 idlers. Uh, looks like we need to do some mining. Perhaps. Not sure re really what I want to mine at the moment. Um, I remember I was building... Forge Iron Helm, sure. Magnus High Ore, yeah, okay. Nickel Silver Bars, wow, yeah. Metal Smith's Forge. Got a lot of stuff going on. I remember I was trying to create, um, what's it called? Like floor plates. I'm not sure if I finished doing that or not. B, C, F. And I wanted it out of, yeah, Blood, Sweat, and Tears. Oh, there's a boy band that did a song called Blood, Sweat, and Tears before. Blood, sweat, and tears. Mm, nope. It's not coming to me, but I know it's a thing. It's uh, a bit old, I suppose. Silver block. Oh, that's right. I was looking into it. Um, Is it better to make blocks of silver? Okay, so I want to turn silver into floors. Uh, we do have a trading post. Actually, now that you say that, I might have taken it down. We had one over here. It's still there, yeah. So, 
Is it better to turn silver ore into bars or blocks uh, for creating floors? Or is there a specific unit for floors? Uh, because I would like to engrave some of the floor with silver. Have a, a bit of a plan there. Oh, and we have our silver hammers. That's right. Maxwell's silver hammers in the origami desk one. Um, bit of a Beatles reference. <laughs> So far, looking all right. Hey, Herpy, how you doing, man? <clears throat> how's your, uh, what's finally happening? Also, how's your, uh, bartender anime coming? VOD support for mobile? That's like a dream come true. Yeah, for sure. Uh, that's always my big, uh, excuse. <laughs> uh, like Kuro or something. Um, Edge. And they'll be like, oh, you know, hey, I did a, did a stream. And I'll be like, oh, man, I'll, I'll check it out but they don't upload their streams to YouTube, which is fair. Not everyone does, and that's okay. Most people just upload parts. Um, but unfortunately, I do all my viewing of uh, like videos on the bus. I don't have any other time to do it, or I do it in bed. And if I do it in bed, it's on my phone. And if I do it on the bus, it's on my phone. Uh, so unfortunately, I don't, I don't have any way to do that, but uh, yeah, for sure, VOD's on a mobile, that is exciting. Finally be able to watch a lot of stuff. And yeah, I'm playing that game you can't understand. Sorry, Herb. <laughs> it's a lot of just little pictures and uh, dwarves running around. High school DXD. Is that like high school of the dead? Oh yeah, I need some more floodgates. Uh, CX was it? No. Floodgate. G. No, it's floor grade. Yeah, see you back soon. Or Floodgate, floodgate. Oh, just X. Ah, oh, we don't have any floodgates. <laughs> Who's not one of us? Let us queue up some floodgates from the mason. Oh, yeah, because he, he can't see the pictures, yeah. It's like, um... You you uh you guys know that uh, that picture I'm talking about. It's from the Matrix. And it's got the guys like I, I don't even see like ask anymore. I see plump helmet tree or whatever. Always got me laughing. Um, just remind me of that right there. All right, let's get some more floodgates. They're pretty cool. And probably actually could do with some statues. Um, well, I guess we'll pass for now. Yeah, Herpy's got a dwarf for sure. He's our carpenter or something like that. Yep, there he is. Uh, Herpy doesn't really understand Dwarf Fortress, but he's been a viewer for a uh, long time, so, you know, we, we keep him around. Um, we used to do War Thunder together. I believe he actually originally, um, I did an XCOM stream a long time ago, and he popped in very briefly for that. Uh, got a name in the crew and uh, vanished uh, because our times conflicted. But uh, he was definitely around for War Thunder when I was doing that. I'm not sure where I want to dig. I guess down. Like, digging down is dangerous, but... Oh, why not? Right? Why not? Let's go ahead and make our staircase. And we'll just make this another level right here. Probably have a room something along those lines. Should probably patch in all this flooring that's missing, but it doesn't really matter actually. We're gonna be um 
putting glass walls around it soon enough. But speaking of, I should probably start building around the outside. Uh, like a secondary layer of glass wall. Probably be a good idea. <laughs> nothing ventured, nothing gained. That is right. I suppose actually we can start building the upper... Let's do that. Start building the upper level here. Um, where's our glass blocks? Now, can you walk on top of walls, or do I actually need to build a uh, floor? Oh no, automatically does it, okay. Well, that's good. One less thing to worry about. Ah, uh, just not enough! Curse you, game. Oh well. Uh, I suppose I can do this, though. Get uh, the walls and the floors are over here. Well, right now, we don't have a whole lot of plans uh, for our fortress. Green glass, yeah, got it. Make the Emerald City. Um, we're digging deeper. We are building an arena in the basement. That was our secret project from long ago. Um, we're going to try and capture some guys and send our dwarves in to test their metal. Um, also going to use it as a form of justice, I believe. Uh, we'll probably um, have a trial by combat <laughs> system go on. Uh, in the meantime, yeah, we're just kind of chilling, waiting for their first invasion. Uh, we've had a couple kobolds, but I haven't uh, reached the point where you get like a bazillion um, goblins yet. Not sure I've even seen a single goblin, which is too bad because we have some awesome combat dwarves ready and waiting. Super excited. Um, farmer's workshop. Queue up some stuff. Yeah. Oops. I'm not sure I can uh, do any of this stuff yet, but might as well. We do, uh, actually. Um, oh, we have kobold neighbors. Oh. Oh, uh, we actually, we had one fortress going, it was extremely well, we got like two years in, and then we quit it because we didn't have any neighbors whatsoever, and I didn't realize that was a thing. Um, because I'm sort of new to the 2014 edition of Dwarf Fortress, before that you could just build anywhere, and you would have the invasion, they'd be coming. Well that's really depressing. It, <laughs> that is actually kind of cool, Origami. Um, is there no way to spawn goblins? Um, because it's just one of the things like you don't you don't know this is a problem uh, until unfortunately after the fact. Um, I suppose we could always try and piss off the elves, but uh, goblins are a lot more fun. <sighs> I also suppose in that instance, uh, might as well start digging. So we're going to make a little offshoot here. So where's our normal stairs? Okay. Let's go ahead and do this, and we'll have an up downstair. Yeah, is there any way to like spawn them in as a neighboring civilization? Uh, anyway, I could edit a save file or um, go to the world map or something. Because we actually, we set it on maximum like level of civilizations in world gen. And there were still tons of areas where we could not find goblins uh, nearby. I, I don't know if there's just a problem with this version of the game, but yeah, it was rough. Exports to death with that petty annoyance, <laughs> and they're offering us death. Well, that's nice. Um, our history was pretty long, yeah. 
Um, we started in the year 203, so, you know. Unless that's not the same as history, in which case I apologize. Um, let's go ahead and build a door right here. Just to preempt things going badly, as they often do. Really? Goblins can get killed off? See, back in the... Uh, I don't know. Back in the day, things were different. Back in the day, it was like the dwarves that would just disappear. Uh, and humans tended to uh, take over everything. Oh, well. That's depressing. Not a whole lot we can do about it right now. Unfortunately. Yeah, so... Well, we have humans and um, elves, so we could always make them angry. Um, the humans are okay. <clears throat> Pardon me, the humans are okay for now, but uh, I don't have any qualms against killing them. Um, I'm actually more likely to enjoy the company of an elf in a fantasy setting than a human. That's just because humans bore me so much. Um, we'll see, though. Definitely try and make some antagonistic. Do the kobolds never raise an army? They just come in with like little thieves? Because that's kind of, uh. It makes sense, but it's annoying. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm gonna let this run for a little bit. I'm going to open up a tab real quick for the internet and let's see if we can find a way to spawn in goblin civilizations So depressed. <laughs> um, hang on, I wonder if Dwarf Fortress. Edit uh, World Civilization. Okay, a modding guide, that could be good. of the goblins super strong vampire that's amazing uh that is one thing i love about dwarf fortress is just the amount of crazy stuff that goes on um definitely playing adventure mode i i'm not a big fan of dwarf fortress adventure mode it is absolutely stunning very well done for what it is but um i just find it lacks a certain something you know what i mean like the flavor 
in Dwarf Fortress, Fortress mode is there, uh, but in Adventure mode I find it's very odd. Um, still, yeah, a lot of crazy stuff happens, and I love seeing why the world is messed up in Adventure mode, and then going in the Fortress mode with a better understanding of things. Um, but definitely prefer stuff like, uh, you know, Caves of Cud is one of my favorite uh, roguelikes, I would say. Um, it, like with the tile set. Oh, pardon me. Yeah, no, nowhere. <laughs> I guess not out of nowhere, it's 2 a.m. Go ahead and start building our um, floodgates. There they are. Excellent. And can we hook these up yet? Uh, I suppose we'd need a lever first. Uh, let's see. So, B. Uh, traps and lever. So we want one up here, and uh, one right here. So the elves normally come in the summer, right? I feel like we they've already come and gone. Uh, it's late summer, yeah. So I feel like they just came here. Um... Next time, we'll steal all their stuff and make them angry. And the humans, I believe, come in the fall. So, maybe we can piss them off, too. Are these all cage traps? Yeah, wow. Should get, uh, build more mechanisms, actually. Probably a good idea. Mechanic, mechanic. I feel like it has red on it. Oh, those are furnaces. Um, can always use more doors and tables and also chairs. But, uh, mechanic. There it is. Make rock mechanisms. Tons of those. always set up a manager order, a mandate or whatever they're called, but, uh, oh well. So how goes our digging? Well, we've dug quite a bit way down and nothing yet. Alright. That should be enough. I think we'd find one by now. Probably the... I don't know, the most frustrating thing about Dwarf Fortress is the uh, the world generation. You know. I love having um, the... Uh, well, nowadays you always have a cavern, I believe. But, I, you know, I loved having the uh, the chasm, like the bottomless hole thing. A random dick thing on the door. Um, I always want to have... You know, a volcano. Uh, we don't have one this time. Because um, you can't search for them anymore. But, you know, stuff like that. It's, I just wish there was more control over it. Um, unfortunately, it's just... Eh, yeah. Also, savage used to mean savage. Like, it used to be if you started with a high savagery. Like, you had elephants like gunning down, breaking your doors, and murdering you all. And that was awesome. Um, but now it's like it doesn't really do much. We had the alligator problem at the beginning, but I haven't had any problems with, um, the wildlife since. And evil is just kind of like insta-kill. Uh, so it's tempting to go to an evil place again. Uh, we did that one time, and we died ten seconds into starting, um, the fortress. <laughs> Twice. We tried to reclaim it, and we died within ten seconds from an evil fog. Which is a new thing I hadn't encountered before. Um, it just instantly turned all our guys evil, and they killed each other. Uh, crazy. I like that. I, I really do. Unfortunately, um, it presents us with some problems in the fact that, like, you know, any anytime you want to experience these things, you have to know it's exactly there in your world beforehand. 
and you're not gonna know. Um, kind of frustrating. And yeah, welcome back, Herb. What's up, man? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm really tempted to go for that really evil uh, start because, uh, honestly, this fortress... A problem with Door Fortress, if you don't have something trying to kill you, it, it's so easy, you know? You get up and running and done. You know, uh, here we are two years later, and we're completely um, self-sufficient and not a problem. I, I could happily do this forever. Whoa. I plays Xbox has created a masterpiece raw muscle roast. Mm, sounds good. <laughs> the monkeys, yeah. Well, don't worry, Origami. If we do uh, create a new fortress, we will, of course, have you lead the charge into whatever. The thing is, though, like, it's not fun to be instantly killed. True. But it gives you something to worry about. Uh-oh. <laughs> Herbie still wants to know what you called him. Yeah. <laughs> Haven't you seen, um... Was it Freaks? Oh, what's the name of that movie? Is it Freaks? Uh, we accept her. One of us. One of us. I think that was Freaks. Something along that lines, anyway. A really weird show. Or movie. It's quite well. Yeah, it's about a, uh, yeah, I figured as much, Josh. It's about a midget that this beautiful woman falls in love with. Or so, you know, you're led to presume. And then all the other midgets and freak shows and bearded woman and stuff are like, no, no, she's just dating you for your money. And he's like, no, that couldn't be. She loves me. And, um, yeah, you know, then they end up killing her. Uh, really old, actually. Came out... This is black and white era, so... <clears throat> Pitch Perfect 2. I, I'm not sure I know what that is. Actually, um... My girlfriend is OCD. And I've told her she's OCD for years. And, uh... Man... She finally started believing me on that. Absolutely crazy. <laughs> That's just how it goes, Josh. Um, I first... Uh, Dwarf Fortress wasn't a game I saw, I heard of. Um, I was on an internet forum back in the day. Like, I used to play, like, long, long ago. And someone was just telling some story of how some dwarf did something stupid and got killed by carp. And I was like, wow, crazy. I want to play this game. And um, that's what set me down the road. And uh, what a journey it's been. Crazy game. Very hard to get into when you're new. But, you know, I've been playing games since I was very young. And some of the original games I played was like the Ultima series. Um, very much non-handholdy, you know, kind of stuff. So wasn't too hard for me, but, um, it's rough. Oh, is that from Pitch Perfect? Dude, don't quote it. You know, movies like that these days, uh, they got, like, three good lines, and that's it. Not really worth seeing the movie now. Though, if you found uh, that funny, again, haven't seen the movie, don't know what it's about, but you might want to check out, uh, it's a Broadway musical, goes by the name of Avenue Q, uh, you might find it funny, it's sort of a similar style of writing, uh, it's very good, uh, I'm definitely a fan, but then I like musicals. The thing is about 1.8 thousand good lines, I doubt it. <laughs> you know, wow, that's, that's a lot. Oh, I better make sure we're not overflowing. Oh, we're starting to. 
Okay, activate the floodgate, please. Please. We don't want to overflow. I want to have people walk there and be able to use the well. Uh, that would be good. Oh, jeez. It's over. Turn it! Okay, good. Did, did that not lower the floodgate? Floodgate? Yeah, it's there. The s susicle? Sussic? Man, I have trouble saying S's without making a, a like a, um, a whistle noise. Sussicle. Sussicle. No, I can't say it. Um, I don't actually know what that means. Okay, floodgate's back. Thank goodness. Go ahead and open up this door now. <laughs> yeah, fair enough, dude. Second you see ASCII, always ask the internet. Um, <clears throat> Sussic. Oh, Seussicle! Like Dr. Seuss, but a musical. A susicle, if you will. Literally never heard that. Also, I would argue that all of Dr. Seuss's work is kind of musical. Um, he definitely has a lot of... Um, I don't know, it just feels like... Anyway, uh, hey, Bethbo. I haven't seen you around before. <laughs> Welcome to being some sort of weird dwarf siege engineer. Why not? He probably doesn't engineer sieges anymore, but... Uh, Welcome aboard. That's cool, though. I'm, I'm a big fan of musicals, <clears throat> so I'll probably check it out. Dr. Seuss is okay. Um, obviously, you like him as a kid, and then you grow up, and it's like, eh. You know, it's good. There's some interesting things going on here, but... Yes, hello. Let's see, um... Alright, if we're going for my favorite musicals, because I have many, <laughs> I, uh... I don't mind boob jokes, but... I don't often find them funny. It sort of depends. Uh, Straight horse team has been found starved to death. Um, it's one of those things, like, I find sort of boob jokes, like, they're just not well written. It's normally just the joke is boob. Much like sex jokes, the joke is haha, penis, or sex. Um, I just don't find that very funny. <laughs> but, uh, you know, if, if it's well done... I'm, I'm all for it. <laughs> that is for all humor. You have a book of boob jokes? It's crazy. It'd be funny if, like... See, this isn't, like, super funny. Uh, I read it and stab a bratwurst every night before I sleep. Alright, gotcha. Gotcha. I've never heard that heard before. Man, American euphemisms are really, really odd. Uh, if Grizzlian was here, he'd be straight up butchering that horse right now. Burn it with bacon fat. Let's see, butcher a dead animal. On repeat. Yeah, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so favorite musicals. All right, um, Avenue Q, I really like. I really like, uh, in no particular order, of course. Um, Cannibal, the musical, is very good. Um, the dwarves were unable to complete the well. What? What's wrong with that? Why? Just because the water there? Oh, never. Let's see. What else is good? Um, like, Mamma Mia is not bad, to be honest. What did one saggy boob say to the other boob? Uh, give me a lift. I don't know, that's all I got. Or, hey, can you give me a lift, I suppose. That would be written in a book. <laughs> a 
an American mom thing. Do American moms often have saggy boobs? I don't know. <laughs> I haven't met many American moms to check. Um, I'd make the assumption most moms end up in that sort of situation. <sighs> Let's see. I start linking these up to the levers now. <laughs> I don't even get the jocks. <laughs> So those ones are linked up. Link up some floodgates here. Which one? No. Okay. Awesome. Those are all linked up. Now we just need one for the door itself here. Um, TL. Go ahead and we could probably link, actually, so, search up most American picture ever, then you'll get the punchline. American mommy called MILFs. <laughs> nice. Not sure about that, though. I was going to throw a lever here before I forget. Uh, actually, interesting. Um, I knew a Chinese guy. Well. I don't know why I say I knew when I still have him on my friends list. Uh, we don't talk too much though, uh, because he's not on when I am. But he's, um, <laughs> his mom is so funny. Um, they're American and uh, very Chinese. And oh my goodness, like, I don't think she speaks English much, or she definitely, it's one of those cases, she doesn't speak any amount of it at home if she speaks it. And so whenever she bursts in his room while we were playing games, she's just always like, nai, 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 and just really funny. Oh, there's our dead horse that's being butchered and put in the middle. Yeah, no good. We didn't even butcher it. We just left it in the middle of the uh, dining room. Eh, fair enough. Fair enough. Saves walking to the kitchen. Man, now I want to make an evil start. But I don't think I'm up for it yet. I'm just not... Very good. Or find some way to spawn in um, goblins or something. <sighs> that would be awesome. Because otherwise, this world is pretty good. Who are you? Green Ouija. Well, you're thirsty and you're going to remain that way for a while, unfortunately. I always love how dwarves manage to. Alright, so I'm placing the last one here. Should I lock myself in the room or outside? Inside the room. Horse hooves are one of the most deadly weapons? That's crazy, I had no idea. Alright, we've officially hit the fall. <laughs> so, that's exciting. <laughs> nah, Herb, he's talking about in the game. Um, Dwarf Fortress is some really weird ways of calculating damage. Uh, a lot of it has to do with weight. So I assume horse hooves, for some reason, um, have a higher density than most other objects in the game. But who knows? Uh, do they use the, um... Oh, Harpy. I still... <laughs> I, I don't know why, um, kids these days use thirsty to mean like um what's a PC way of saying this uh you know s someone that's aroused I suppose horse hooves sharp okay I've here's a problem like I've we've had horses uh on our farm and I've been to farms with horses and the hooves are always like you sand them, you know what I mean? Yeah, a horn is another good way of putting it. Um, but you sand them so they're they're not as sharp, so I've never thought of them as being sharp, but yeah, that would make sense. Weird thing too, uh, horse hooves are 
like in real life, they're like really hard hair, almost. Uh, it's it's really really weird. Um, if you ever get a chance to touch one, you're probably gonna be absolutely disgusted. The texture of it, it's just one of those things you just rub it, and it feels all the wrong ways. And yeah, I don't know. Every time I touch a horse hoof, I, I just feel a little little ill. It just does not feel correct. Yeah, I assume you just smash them. Um, in Dwarf Fortress, literally any object can be picked up and used as a blunt instrument. Um, I suppose you could also just stab with it, but you know what I mean. You can just pick anything up and smash them in the face, which is always exciting. Hopefully uh, that water's going to die out soon. <laughs> Our green Ouija just fell asleep. Yeah, that's what I was saying. It, it feels really weird. I can't believe we haven't hit the caverns yet. So we're digging really far down. Jeez. You hit them in the head and their head will explode. Remind me of the fire up adventure mode and give that a shot. That's cool. I know they use uh, horse hair for glue. I know they also used it for jello. It's always weird when you find out uh, what's in stuff. Horse hoof axes are one shot kills? How do you make a horse hoof axe? I came to the wrong neighborhood, mother bucker. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Herb. Nice. Alright, let us see how the glass production is coming. <sighs> Alright, I have made an error. I don't even know why I did it. Alright. Remove construction. I want these gone. That'll be fine. That's fallen soon. Um, yeah, I, I wasn't supposed to build those. I forgot I wanted a giant glass column. <clears throat> so I could drop bodies down it. Unfortunately, no, no, don't, don't stand in the middle one though, for real, for real, do not stand there, you'll die. Who are you? Grizzillion. Well, Grizzillion is gonna get himself killed in very short order. Four, four glass, not found. <clears throat> well, here we go. Yeah, he is actually. Um, I don't know why, but a strangely large amount of our community here on Twitch. Baronies. Godvadom. Herpy you are, don't even pretend. There's no cure for it. Oh, okay. Well, I suppose not watching it <laughs> is some sort of cure. It's one of those things like, um, I was a big Doctor Who fan. Um, and then they made the ninth Doctor, which is, uh, Christopher, Crystal, <laughs> Christopher Eccleston, sorry. And I have not watched it since. Um, I didn't enjoy it. I've heard by many people that, um, who's the guy that came after him? Uh, David Tennant is extremely good, but most people haven't watched the original, um, you know, Doctor Who's, so... It's one of those things. I'm not saying he's bad. I'm just saying, compared to the old ones, I'm not sure it's as true to it as I want it to be. So, <laughs> Dr. Hooves. Yeah.
Rose. Uh, I remember Rose from, uh, like, the Eccleston one. Again, I haven't seen any of the new stuff. Um, I didn't see too much. Well. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were talking about Rose from uh, Doctor Who. Link up a floodgate. And that guy. And uh, do it now, and then pull. String intensifies, banjo intensifies. Oh yeah, yeah, the music of this game, for sure. It's pretty intense. It's just an acoustic guitar. As far as I know. I remember actually when I was in high school, uh, there was this guy that was convinced and would always tell uh, me because he, um, you know, music class and stuff, he'd just always go on about the fact that um, a, an acoustic guitar is a bass, which is extremely frustrating uh, to anyone. Oh, yeah, yeah, everyone tells me you use uh, sound sense or something. Sorry, I have trouble with S's. I don't have trouble saying them. I have trouble saying them without making a, a whistle, and I know that drives people nuts. Um, but yeah, sound sense, or something along those lines. Um, I'm for sure I need to look into it. Why did that not pull? Oh dear. Well, who's dead? Is it you? Are you the dead guy? How'd you not die? Alright, hang on. Let's do some math. This is Z level 145. 131, so... 14. We just had a fishery worker drop 14 Z levels and live. What? What a monster. Well, fan service is um, traditionally uh, not something I would consider being in a uh, children's show. But, uh, you know, maybe I just don't get what the kids are into these days. Yeah, it wasn't too bad, actually. He, um... Should be this guy here trying to rest. Just mangled his upper arm and his right upper arm and his left hand. Um, not sure how he did that. Exactly. What are his thoughts? Uh, well, he is afraid after experiencing trauma. Fair enough. He's annoyed after choking on dust underground. Um, uh, confused after being knocked out during a cave-in. Well. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, that's possible. He was very happy he got rescued, so... Maybe, that, maybe that's what I'm... I don't know. It was that guy, right? Uh, Fisher worker... Mebel, yeah, that's him. Did this not get linked up or something, or...? Oh, it did. No, no, cancel. Cancel that. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll heal him up, and, uh... You know. He's not dead yet. I wonder if this is leveled out yet up here. Uh, just about. Because I want to build my well. His left lung is mangled beyond recognition? No way! I didn't see that. Don't, don't, don't even joke about that. Oh, oh wow, yeah, okay. <laughs> his left lung is mangled, his right shoulder, his left wrist, and his left false ribs. Good news is, this guy only broke his false ribs, not his real ones. Oh yeah, you're right there. Left hand is mangled beyond recognition, right shoulder is mangled, mangled, mangled. Oh wow, his left lung is actually fractured. 
Yeah, that's probably what it was. Oh, here's his problem. He has poor analytical abilities and poor spatial sense. That's why he uh, removed the floor out from underneath him. There you go, it all makes sense. What a guy. <laughs> Who even needs false ribs when you keep breaking them? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Our doc is somehow... Somehow a wizard. Well, a false rib is a rib that isn't real. Ergo... Um, you know, he had his ribs taken out at some point, or broke them, and probably had wooden ones put in place. Maybe out of, like, you know, real bone, if he's, uh, if he had the money. Let's see, he's being stitched up right now. Uh, yeah, Kuro. Oh, Masterwork Sock actually is working on it. Getting the stitching out. Yeah, he fractured his lung, that's right, yeah. <laughs> his lung was extremely dense when he hit the ground, probably because of all the um, rock and glass he inhaled. So it fractured. Um, what can I say? Uh, not too far, actually. Let's see, I mean, he just had to go up a couple Z levels. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 Z levels up, so probably about 15. And hey, Fezzy! I was gonna say, <laughs> I started, like, re responding to you. I'm like, I don't recognize this guy. Um, well, let's check if we have anyone in the military real quick. Who's not a someone. We do. Uh, oh no, these are candidates. Well, we do have, actually, empty spots. Um, oh well. Yeah, horse corpse, man. I know. Well, welcome to being a, uh, just a random ranger. I'm not sure, actually, what I put, uh, you know, doing fizzy... In the Navy. Wow, it's a pretty cool dinosaur, man. Someone get rid of this corpse. What is Grizzlyan even doing? He's like permanently begging to have uh, stuff to butcher and then he doesn't butcher it. Oh, so, um. My Little Pony isn't a kid show anymore? Or, like, what? Oh, dude. It's Steven Seagal. It's pretty amazing. What is... <laughs> Please tell me it's, like, Boom C G L. Oh, Boom C L. Got it. Yeah, <laughs> Grizzlian's a bit crazy. He also, um... I think you caught... Uh, he might have came in for the end of that herpy, uh... Brazilian riding the rocket down the uh, the atmosphere. Well, everyone's gonna die gloriously if this fortress um, doesn't manage to find some trouble shortly, because we are gonna start a fight with anybody and everybody. Uh, upon which point we'll probably set out in an evil location. Because I mean, like, what do you do right now? We have 98 dwarves. Right. We have no problems. We have an ama uh not not yet, Herpy. I probably won't today just because it's already really late. Uh tomorrow I hope to though. I've been having a lot of fun with it. Um But anyway, yeah, so it's one of those things we, we just have like we can't lose at this point unless we get attacked or some sort of antagonism happens. That's why I've been digging down a thousand floors trying to find the um cavern system. But no luck. So what can you do? <laughs> Fire Nation. What's that from, actually? 
know if you played uh, like Masters of Magic, you have a Fire Nation. It's pretty cute. Huh? Dig down in the hell, huh? I mean, that could be fun. Um, we'll start drafting a lot of people. Was oh, that like a, a dog coin or what's that? Oh, Doge coin, yeah. <laughs> Fan service, okay. Like, when you say fan service, okay, like, in anime and stuff like that, you know, um, even in Western shows, fan service is kind of like a, you know, just a lot of, like, gratuitous, like, um, either nudity or, like, you know, risque moments. Um, Baywatch, for example, um, uh, if you were alive back in the day, uh, just tons of fan service. I, I didn't watch it myself, but you know what I mean. Um, so, I'm not sure, like, <laughs> I don't think you mean it in that sense, but I'm not sure what you mean by fan service for My Little Pony. Um, I guess just, like, funny references, or... Well, there's Craigasm, yeah. That's the one I know. Wow, that's a lot of tacos. How there's so many tacos? Oh, what have I done? Oh, I zoomed in. It looked terrible. I think you're talking about Craigasm. Which is pretty good. Pretty good emote. Huh. <sighs> Oh, okay, good. We found a cavern. Excellent. And a deep pit. Great. Where... Where is we? Oh, there we is. Okay. Let's just make that an upstairs, then. <laughs> it's Taco Bell advertising on Twitch. I don't know about that. BC, um, upstairs, right here. Okay. So we found the cavern. It actually, looks quite nice down here. Um, I believe now we can start growing tower caps, which is good. Very exciting. Well, apparently, it existed up here as well. We just hadn't gotten to it. What happened? Oh, Green Ouija, the mason, gave birth to a girl. Oh, congrats. Alright, so we have that. Have it sealed off. Is our well built yet? Probably not. Needs a mason. All right. Name her after me. No, you. Well, we already have a. Don't we have a Josh? I feel like I put a Josh in. Yeah, you're a mechanic. <laughs> Joshua Bina. All right, <laughs> I can do that. Hey, where? Who is our newest baby? Uh. Well, it doesn't say who the baby is actually. Luigi? Hmm. I guess we can do it this way. Um, her parents are... I don't know. <laughs> In the end. Yeah, actually, this is a cool thing. This moral Konos mubbin, whatever. Uh, so it's this baby we have that actually, um, let's see if I can get this pop up. First off, it owns a room and a cabinet by itself, even though it's a child. And even though it's a child, um, it is, well, it doesn't say there, but legendary stone crafter. Like what? 
Like, I don't understand. This baby just, like, one day got a strange mood, just walked over, and was just like, bam! I created the best artifact ever, and then went back to, um, crawling around. Well, actually... So, mothers carry their babies around, right? So if they get attacked, or feel that they have to attack something, they're holding it in one hand, so it's quite possible that they start, uh, smashing babies around, yeah. Now, if you can force a baby to wear a helmet... Alright, here we go. Got some humans. They're gonna... Uh, well, oh yeah, it's dwarves. <laughs> I was gonna say, we're about to steal all their stuff. But it's dwarves, so we want to be friendly. <laughs> Josh, not everyone is vampires. It'd be cool if they were, but not everyone is. Good night, Herpy. It's getting quite late, actually. I should start thinking about myself. Actually, that's one thing I will uh, I will do real quick. Let's see. Computer. Okay, so let us go ahead. What's this? Something happened. What happened? Oh. Giliancio has entered a fey mood. Fan services equals for me, putting in things that fans have made and recognized. Example, derpy is fan services. Did you read this? If so, I'm sorry for spanning. You're not spamming origami. I would never say you were spamming. Uh, I might say you were El Spamito. But, uh, certainly never spamming. But, uh, no, I just didn't, didn't notice. I apologize for that. Anyway, where were we here? So, um, applicant, I think. Okay, yeah. J. Lee. Assume, right? No, yeah, Jay Lee was someone war games. Car grid. That's not legit. Alright, so Fezzy and uh, Josh. Josh Wabi. El Spamador. Oh, that's so good. Why didn't I say that one? Because I'm bad, that's why. And Bethbo. And Frost Cookies. Man, now we're all out of names. I think I got another one. Though. Jay Lee was someone for sure. Edge Miznari. Nah, that's all I got. All right. Um, I'll say that. Okay, so they claim to Mason's Workshop. We'll go ahead and uh, throw these guys in real quick, though. So we got Frost Cookies. And world's cutest trap. I'm all kinds of down with that. Oh, jeez. Trap? Yeah. Awesome. So that is all done. Yeah, I went ahead and added you guys, uh... <laughs> Fezzy. You're so popular, man. Yeah, out of names, it's for a Kerbal Space Program. We're not rich enough to hire any more people. Well, I will... I will write Befbo uh, down on a paper. Uh, if I can grab one. Let's see. Uh, I just need a pencil. And Befbo. Oh, yeah, by all means. Like, uh, Frost Cookies, like, a lot of people that watch Door Fortress lurk. Um, and that's okay, you know, fair enough. When I watch streams, it's lurking. Uh, I'm watching it in bed, and I just want to watch something relaxing, like Door Fortress or some similar strategy game normally. Um, uh, back in the day, I used to watch, like, you know, 
professional gaming like uh, StarCraft or um, Dota or whatever if there was a tournament on. Um, doesn't happen anymore, but I used to catch those games um, if I had a chance. But yeah, I would uh, just put that stuff on and just fall asleep. So I always lurk, um, but it's one of those things. I don't have a huge community, but I have a big enough community that I'm happy and I like the amount of people I have in chat and I just love talking and hanging with you guys. And anytime I notice a new name, I just like throw them in because um, I, I like to believe that you're sitting out there, you're just watching. Maybe you're not watching, maybe you're just listening, falling asleep, and occasionally you just hear your name out of nowhere. It's like, oh, Frost Cookies went and jumped off the bridge and killed himself. You know. Oh yeah, we're doubling. We got tons of tables. I didn't know uh, going into it that um, a dwarf could sit on either side and still use it. But it looks cool, so hey. Oh yeah, we got our cavern, so we'll start working on the military. Actually, uh... Playing League of Legends at the same time. Oh, pretty cool, man. I used to uh, podcast. I used to listen to podcasts back in the day. Uh, again, unfortunately, I don't have a lot of time to do this now. But, um... I used to do that. So, hang on. Finished goods. Yeah, so all that stuff. And request a trader. It causes negative thoughts? Why? What do you mean? If they're using a table and someone else tries to use it, it gives a crowded table's thought. That shouldn't happen though, right? Because I have like... Two? Like... Hang on. Chair, table, table, chair. So it shouldn't get doubled up, should it? Or do I need to put a sp like I don't really understand how I have to space them then? Sorry. Is it because they're trying to use it on angles or something weird? <clears throat> oh, are you talking about these corner ones here? Yeah. Okay. See so what you're saying then. Yeah. All right. Well, dwarves tend to work from uh, top left down, so we should be okay for the most part, but thank you. I will go ahead and actually remove these chairs here. Just get rid of it, make it a lot easier. Yeah, thanks. Sorry, I had no idea. That is very cool. I didn't even know they could share a table. Uh, well, they can't, but I didn't know they would try to, and that would cause a problem. Makes sense, but... um. You know, there's tons of this game. You don't know going into it. Certainly changes all the time. Okay, so everything's trading. Got our dude. What do you got for me? Better question is, can you afford everything I have to offer? Because I feel like you probably can't. Because I got a lot of stuff. lot of stuff. Jeez, how many earrings can you stick in something? Yeah. Um, well, actually, I believe most of our dwarves are uh, in, in good. <laughs> That's true. There's tons of this game you don't know going out of it. But, yeah. Alright, let's just start buying everything. See what happens. Probably the best way to go about this. Probably gonna have to not buy all the weapons and uh, terrible metal stuff, but yeah. Girls have many earrings. <laughs> True. Oof. And why you gotta make so much expensive stuff? Come on. Nobody wants to steal toy boat. I 
Yeah, I feel like I've been playing long enough that I should know everything, but um, it was all before uh, the 2014 edition. And then 2014 hit, and it, all of a sudden it was like, oh, you gotta know how to, um, like, man, the whole change to um, doctors and stuff. I was like, what? And yeah, everything got crazy. But all right, we're getting back in the, getting back into it. Ah, man, so many weird like things they have. I don't really care about any of this here. Pretty good for herself. <laughs> this whole time, Origami, you've just been trying the. Well, the embark conditions were depressing. Um, we spent. I'm, I'm not. I'm not kidding. We spent half an hour trying to find the perfect embark and map. Uh, we created world after world after world. And at the end of the day, um, we we're left with a fortress that sucks. Um, because we have no goblins to attack us. Everything else is good, though. Um, we have kobold neighbors. We have dwarf elves, humans. Very high savagery. Very... Um, it, the, the middle level, evil level. And uh, that, that's about it, really. We have the cavern. We don't have anything cool. Uh, no aquifer. Yeah, that's where we be. Pick up some bolts. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, no, it was none of those. Okay. Some anvils. Oh, yeah, those are useful. Oh, man, we didn't even hit the food yet. Oh, jeez. Yeah, wow. Making a day making worlds. I, I don't have the patience for it. I just want to play the game. Jeez. Like, it's going to take at least like 10 minutes to haul all the stuff off the trade depot. <laughs> We're done. If you ask for a counter offer, I don't even care. I'm not even gonna try. I'm just gonna say, yeah, take it, whatever. We don't have anything like uh, in here that I'm not afraid to get rid of. Jeez. So much food. Yeah, honestly, um, to anyone out there. If you have a map that has a volcano, has goblins and um, high savagery and evil, or even just high evil, I guess, uh, let me know. Yeah, I want to hit that up. I really want to learn how to do the evil thing. Try and survive it. Um, I don't have to... I think we're just going to go with this. Oh no, the cheese though. Gotta grab all that cheese. It's one of those things, like, I, I don't, um, need to have elves or humans in my world. I don't really care. They're nice, but. Yeah, definitely need goblins, though. I like having little things to worry about. Uh, 
uh, splints? Yeah, I don't really need those. I have lots of splints. Crutches, don't need them. Got lots. Alright, that's it. That's it. That's everything. Alright. Let's take them then. We're here. Might as well. I'm gonna have to trade them another crate full of stuff though. Trade. Sure, you want some more stuff. Hang on. Trader profit 22,000? No way, son. Sergasm, Oakgasm. I don't think you did find it after all. <laughs> I think you tried, though, man. It's all good origami. We don't always make it. Alright. Sure. Wonderful. Thank you for your business. Do you want to, like, post a link to it so I can, uh, see what she looks like? Man, we just had way too much stuff, though. Like, let's go ahead and get another, uh, woodcarver going. Actually, up in our craft dwarf. Yeah. So many wooden crafts. Oakgasm. So let's see, uh, like how much stuff do we have here? Jeez. Like we just bought the entire world, basically. It's insane. Oh, Solgrin. Cool, yeah. Isn't that the guy who made, um... What's it called? Uh, Wings of Vi, I think. Uh, I also did, uh... I want to be, be the Boshi. I think. I think that was him. Um... Haven't played either of those games, but um, you know, I like I like that style of game. I think that's very cool. Um, and Mad Props, he seems like an alright guy. And just since I'm sure for you know, hang on, let, let's uh, here, here you go, everybody, everybody on the internet. That's Oakgasm. <laughs> that's the thing. Uh, Mr. Origami has been searching for for the last, like, half an hour. So I thought you'd all be curious and want to see that. Now, I know you guys in chat saw it, if you clicked it, but... Anyone who's not in chat, just lurk and whatever. They're sitting there, it's like, oh... What is this thing that we've been talking about for so long? Well, now you know. Is it exciting? Yeah. We've all been there, though. For me, it's always YouTube. Uh, let's actually cancel carving these here. Uh, for it's all <laughs> man, coal coffin. Tell you what, like, look, I I don't ever pretend uh, that this channel is gonna like get insanely huge or anything like that. But um, if we ever did, coal coffin would be an emote. Uh, like, <laughs> it's just so funny. Um, <laughs> jeez. Uh, let's take another another peek. Where are ya? What? Like, what a thing. This is a lignite coffin. All craft door ship is of the highest quality. It's encrusted with cushion cut onyxes, decorated with high wooden circled bands of oval lignite carbocons. Carbocons. Rectangular mag. <laughs> oh my goodness, my words today. Rectangular magnetite carbocons and chicken leather. On the item is an image of new dimples, the lignite coffin, and microline itself. On the item of the image, on the item is an image of Isum Tusk Copper, the dwarf in lignite. We don't know who he is. Um, and then on the image 
is an image <laughs> of Noose Dimples, the Lignite Coffin, and Carabala Wood, and Thick Crescents, and then itself again. So it has itself on itself three times, which is just insane. Franker face. You could have emotes just for the channel. Vots Zeus. This is like some sort of weird Twitch app thingy. New ways to say what? New ways of woof. Oh, cool. Well, that's awesome. We know who he is. Check legends. Um, legends. Civilization world info, maybe. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> it was the craziest thing ever. I have Firefox, so I can go ahead and try and down the... Oh, what do you require now? Better offices, quarters, and dining rooms. Oh, you would war games. You would. Uh, oh, we created a Galena Floodgate. Cool. I've actually never had problems finding music. It's always YouTube videos. Always YouTube videos. I'm like, do you remember that one? It's like, uh, you know, and then the guy, like, uh, he's speaking Russian, and, and then the, the chick, like, comes over, and what was that called again? And then I always just Google literally the words that I would use to describe it, and uh, most of the time it comes up. Not always. So let's go ahead and check my artifacts again. So, the respected noble, respectful noble, a Galena Floodgate. Uh, it's worth a lot. 106,800. And a color of gray. This is a Galena Floodgate. All craft or ship is of the highest quality. It is encrusted with baguette cut sapphires and encircled bands of oval Galena Capricorns, emerald cut green glass gems, and ostrich leather. This object menaces with spikes of sheep wool. Ooh. On the Im item is an image of a black bull's head in jelly opal. And on the item is an image of a rose-cut gem in Kuznite. Hmm. Okay. Um, not too great. Spikes made out of uh, sheep wool. Also not very scary. That's for stuff. Legends. Do I have to save the game and go out to find that? What's this? Please not migrants. Oh, not migrants. Jeez, that's the last thing we need right now. It's more migrants. Um, this is why I use a uh, door therapist for. Find out how many migrants I get. Just four? There, right, I'm fine with that. Anything good? What does this mean? Does that mean like a child? I, I don't know if you guys can see this, but. Okay, like this is their gender, right? Yeah, so you've got like male and female, and then all of a sudden down here, we have a male and female dwarf, right? And then we've got like a double male dwarf. I don't know what that means. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, more people for the growing army. All right, well, who who are our new people? Um, anyone? Oh no, did we get a baron or something? No, that's good. We got a purple guy. Okay, so that means like... So the two male things mean a gay male dwarf? And does that like mean... I don't know. I have no idea. What are you though? Profession baby. Oh, okay. So we got, let's see, a ranger, a ranger, a farmer, and a baby. Eh, whatever. Hang on. Let's go look at one of these guys. Doran. Doran is apparently gay. unit. 
Okay. Uh. Both means buy. Oh, okay. It doesn't say here he's gay. He dreams of raising a family. Eh. I don't know. Might have a little trouble with that. That's a good question. Will gay couples adopt a child where the mother is killed? That is a very good question. No. So there's no way for a gay couple in this game to have a child. Adopted or otherwise. So his dreams of having a family will never be fulfilled. Well, that's really depressing. That is really sad. Do we get any more? That kind of looks like... Oh, man... A beefalo starved to death. Yeah, oh, we got too many. Okay, so we do have an asexual dwarf. Uh, that ain't good. We got a bunch of bi dwarfs. When did this happen? I don't remember orientation ever being in my dwarf game. Oh, man. Craziness. <laughs> That's what happens when your parents tell you you can do anything. Yeah. <laughs> when your parents tell you you can do anything, you become gay? <laughs> Seems like bisexual would be more applicable in that situation. So I decided to become a god. Yeah. Actually, uh, Zelfis and Origami decided to become the Cosmos yesterday. Latest major patch. Okay, merge the cabin, both in worlds and in gameplay, albeit more rarely than heterosexual marriages. Huh. Well, that's cool. <laughs> Parents told me I could be anything, now I'm a trap. Um, does that make... Uh, I'm, I'm not going to ask your orientation. <laughs> it's not, not too important. Oh, Befbo, it's honestly the easiest game in the world. To play. <laughs> That's a lie. Uh, but it's really easy, though, once you learn a few simple steps. Um, number one. I can show you how to do it right now. Okay. So you're going to start out, you're going to have your little uh, caravan thing and your wagon and all your dwarves standing around. Everyone's scared and they don't know what they're doing. Okay, first off, it doesn't matter where you set out. Go ahead, hit mine. Uh, D for uh, designation, D for mine. And then all you got to do, man, just two, two tiles like this. And you just do that. That's it. You know, that's how easy it is to play the game. Now just make some rooms. Uh, make them like, you know, you can make them three by three or whatever you like. You can make a long room. Like this. Doesn't really matter. And just put a bunch of beds in that and build. Um, so you're going to hit B for buildings. Uh, C for uh, like workshops. I'm sorry, W for workshops and C for carpenter. And then you just build a carpenter's workshop. And that's it, man. That is it. The only other thing you need to know how to play the game. Right at the beginning, hit D for designation and T for chop wood. And then see all these trees? Man, nah, whatever. You just cut them down. And that's it, man. That is it. Um, literally all you gotta... <laughs> yeah, well, mountain digging is the easy way to play. So, um, you'll notice here we didn't dig into the mountain. We just built a wall. Um, we had our previous game, like, pff, weeks ago. Um, we had... We just built a wall. Because it was in a desert. So we just built a wooden palisade. And hid inside it. And unfortunately, there was nothing to attack us. <laughs> because the desert was so hot, everything died. Goblins, dwarves, nothing. There was nothing. Everything was dead. Um, no wildlife either. So, whatever. And now we're here, and now there's no more goblins, and I'm really sad. Yeah, no problem, Beffo, and that's it. Once you have your carpenters set up, 
So I can just uh, go ahead and BCW. Tell them to build a carpenter right here. They're going to make it out of wood. Um, it'll use the closest material you have, but if you chop down th trees, they'll make it out of wood. And once you have a carpenter, you're going to tell them to make beds. Right away, you need ten beds. Uh, well, seven, because you have seven dwarves, but you just want ten. Um, because your dwarves will be very unhappy if they don't sleep in a bed, and also they won't be as rested. So you're going to want to build those beds in a room, and then make a mason's workshop, and just mine and explore, and that's it. Like, I mean, this fortress is extremely grandiose. We have, here, down here, we have 107 people. Uh, 51 are extremely happy, 56 are pretty happy. And, you know, we built, like, giant green glass stuff going upwards. We It's sprawling empire of a uh, condensed fortress, really. But the thing is, you don't have to do that. Um, all you gotta do is just get a carpenter and a mason set up. Uh, get your dwarves digging into the mountain, and then just explore, you know? Uh, just have your dwarves dig up, dig down, dig rooms out. Uh, but once you have a carpenter or mason, you're going to want to put two doors. So it's B for buildings, D for door. And just set them up in your double door spot. Um, wherever that may be. It'll look something like this hallway, for example. So you put a door here and a door here. And that'll stop 80% of your problems from coming inside. And just stay inside and build. And relax. Uh, that's what I do. It's nice and easy. <sighs> and um, the cool thing is about doing that, just exploring, digging out, and just staying inside while just having your woodcutter outside and you can eventually bring the carpenter's workshop inside and a masonry as well. Um, once you've done that, then you can, like, say something happens. A dwarf um, falls and hurts himself. Well, that's easy. All you're going to want to do, you, uh, you load up your Firefox or Chrome, whatever you use. If you load up Internet Explorer, um, uninstall Internet Explorer, load up Firefox or Chrome. Then you just type in, here's a search bar right here. Um, dwarf Fortress. Uh, dwarf Injured. How do I heal? It's going to bring up Healthcare. Boom! DF 2014. That's the current version of the game. Click that. Let's make this bigger. And it is going to tell you everything about healthcare and what you need to do. And so that's what you do. Uh, from that point on, just go from, like, when a situation comes up, learn how to do it. Uh, the next thing you want to do is set up a farm. <laughs> so, that's the only other thing you have to do. So, as you have them right here. No, he healthcare isn't a top priority, but the thing is... I'm just saying, for instance, if something happens, you need to just Google it. It'll be right there on the wiki. Setting up a farm is very important. Um, so do that. You just go... You just dig a hole into the soil. And then go B for buildings, P for farm plot. Make it very big. And just like that. And just put all... So once you've placed it, Q. Q selects buildings. And just set it to build plump helmets in every season. So if you look down here at the bottom, spring, summer, autumn, and winter. And that's it. Um, eventually you're going to want to look into, you know, your dwarves will be like, oh, we don't have any drink left. Again, when that happens, like, Google it. You'll learn all about brewer we <laughs> Wow. Brewer breweries? And you'll learn about carpenters creating barrels. But the thing is, just when a situation comes up, learn it then. That's all you gotta do. Just dig in, explore, and when you need something, search it up, and you'll learn as you go along. I find that's the best way to do it. That's what I did. I tried watching a tutorial back in the day. Um, Captain Duck. Uh, he's good, don't get me wrong. Captain Duck is very good. He has a very soothing voice. Uh, but often I would just fall asleep to his videos. Um, I used to watch them on my PSP. Uh, but... Oh, pardon me. 
but yeah. It's just, it's a lot easier to just slowly learn. And Lazy New Pack, I would not touch that. <laughs> Do not touch it. It it says Lazy Noob, and it's certainly for lazier people. Uh, no offense to anyone that uses it. It just has a lot of things that are... Make the game easier. For example, like this Dwarf Therapist I use. I only just started using this recently. Um, it allows me to just look at all my doors on the fly and do stuff. But you don't need that. You know, you do not need that in the beginning, and it's just going to confuse you. No, I only started using Lazy New Pack like a week and a half ago, and I only use it to activate Door Therapist. That's it. I really do not recommend it for new players. <laughs> it's like, all right, so you're new to the Dwarf Fortress, right? You're looking at the screen. You're just like, oh, what? Oh, yeah, texture packs are good. But you can just download a texture pack, no problem. But, I mean, so, here... Huh? Giant masked lovebird, huh? So, you got two options. One, you're staring at the screen playing Dwarf Fortress. Whatever. Two, you're staring at, uh... Yeah, let, let me get everything out here. Two, you're looking at this, and you're like, oh, I'm trying to play the game, but all this information is overloading me and it's like wow you know just dig man you know die and learn and live again downloading a texture pack though is definitely a good thing texture packs are pretty awesome i like the look of the uh the vanilla game myself um the problem is, like, I don't actually care if it, <laughs> why are my prisoners being fed. Yeah. But that's what I mean. You know, why are all my dwarves naked? You just Google it, <laughs> and then you, uh, you go from there, man. You just didn't make enough uh, clothes. <laughs> why did that baby spontaneously explode? Yeah, but see... The second you remove something, like, why did that baby spontaneously explode? You've just, you've ruined part of the game. You know? How are these guys coming? They're really tough, actually. Pretty beastly. We could take on a forgotten beast. Well, Bethbo, uh, the Lazy New Pack gets rid of some of the more peculiar bugs of the game. Yeah. So. You know what I have a, I have a craving to play? Um, tell you what, I was going to quit here. Um, it is quite late, and I, I do have to start heading off the bed. Um, I've, I've had a craving, though. Um, do have any of you guys know Blood Bowl? It is a game I, uh, I quite enjoy. I used to do, um, if you know what an AAR is, an After Action Report, I used to write those up for the Something Awful Forum back in the day, uh, for Blood Bowl. It used to be a lot of fun. I, I would write it up for my friends as well. Um, unfortunately, as much as I had fun writing paragraph after paragraph of this story and, and stuff like that, it, blast. But it takes a lot of time. However, with streaming, uh, <laughs> yeah, that, I mean, oh, you played the figurine version. That's amazing. I haven't played the miniatures. I don't know why I said figure. Oh, because you wrote that. Um, I haven't played the miniature version. I've wanted to, but um, again, it's it's a time versus uh, availability thing. Oh, halfling teams are a, a joy. <laughs> I'll say that much. Um, can I look at the legends from here? No. Okay. But I absolutely love um, Blood Bowl, and I was just thinking just now, like, I kind of want to play it. I don't know why. I just feel like it. And I was like, with the stream, uh, we can go ahead and name 
um, the roster after uh, viewers. Could be a lot of fun. Uh, get some input there. Um, actually, let's let's end this with. Um, yes, I know I unloaded the game. Let's see if I can fire up Blood Bowl actually real quick. Blood Bowl is like the one game I have three different versions installed on my computer. I don't know why. I just never got around to uh, uninstalling them. <laughs> just bad on my part. I'll do that now. Uh, like, there's pretty much no reason to keep the other versions of the game. It's all the same stuff except more. Let's see if this works, actually. Uh, huh? This looks like it might be working. I forget how I get the... Um, the intro of the play. How do I do that? Maybe if I just don't touch anything? I feel like there was a way to force it to play. Uh, maybe it's, it's not credits. No, not that. Oh, videos. No, it's for something else, I guess. Dang. Let's go ahead, actually, and change our resolution here to, uh, 1280 to 720. <laughs> Save that. Yes. Oh, enable cinematics. Right there, I saw it. Curses. No, unfortunately, it is not a free game. Uh, the miniatures are even more expensive, although you can argue. <laughs> yeah, options. Enable cinematics. There you go. Good job, me. Well, let's, uh, hang on. Let's restart the game. See if I can get it uh, to play. But uh, Blood Bowl is basically fantasy football. Um, except crazy, I guess. So it's very much... Um, you're, you're trying to play traditional American football. Get the ball and go from A to B. But along the way, you're trying to like kill everybody. Um, not always, but... Often that's that's how it uh, ends up. Uh, oh, these are the new teams actually. The uh, Chaos Edition. Oh, snap! Big demon dude. Oh, it turns out it didn't. It did not capture that. That's so weird. It can capture the game, but not the cinematic. Yeah, I'm not sure actually. I um, you're as confused as I am. I'll look into that for you though. Uh, but yeah, there's a bunch of teams in the game. Yeah, sorry guys. I know I was I was so excited. Uh, but for example, we go player viewer. You have, like, the game looks fine. It was just the uh, cinematic didn't play. There's uh, one, two, three, I don't know, there's like 20-something teams. So you can be like the Amazons, uh, you know, Chaos. They're all Warhammer Fantasy races. Um, you know, you can be your, your elves. There's all kinds of elves. You got your high elves. You got your, your Camry, which have, like, sort of mummy creatures. Um, this is their good equipment, though. They start looking at a lot more scrubby. But yeah, it's really interesting, and a lot of it is just luck with the dice and rolls and stuff. Anyway, I, I definitely feel like uh, we'll try and set that up sometime soon. Um, I don't know. And it just came out of nowhere. <laughs> Apologies, guys. Just started thinking about it. I was like, hey, man, I'm excited. Let's talk about this little thing for a minute. Anyway, I'm going to head off to bed. I am exhausted. 3.25 a.m. You all have a nice night. And thanks for joining me. A lot of fun. Tomorrow, more dwarves or Kerbal or something like that. Maybe some Blood Bowl at some point. I'll, um, I'll probably just record a short video and put it up as a highlight, showing off all the different races and talking about them and if anyone wants to you can send me an email or whatever uh just you know let me know what you're interested in and uh yeah have a nice night guys a lot of fun